are on screen. Anna. Ana Maria Campos. So hi guys, Ana Maria Campos is my name. I, uh, a little bit about me, I am a uh, director of computer resource centers uh, for New York City. Now we've been to Irvine, Oakland, Boston, Hamburg, the Bronx, New York. Um, the Sparks program, uh, pick a free, it's a, it's a free after school maker space for girls of all abilities, age to 17, 10 to 17, STEAM focused youth driven, leveraged by open source in New York City's digital learning community. Thank you Hive, thank you MacArthur Foundation, we'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, we sustain participation from session to session that provide, provides links for young people uh, of all ages, uh, young girls specifically in the Bronx. Um, when we asked the girls when they came in what they wanted, we heard a lot about fun. Why technology in parks? because Parks is about fun, Parks is about play, and why not digital learning as play? And you'll see some of the answers that young people gave us. Uh, some of our concerns, women are under, underrepresented in tech. Um, some of their concerns, I'll never learn it, I won't have fun. But at the same time, what you see is the look on that young woman's face, right? And the kinds of exploration that is happening in this room uh, over the course of the first year, which is this pilot, is being accompanied by a bunch of metrics, which we're trying to aggregate as pre-post assessments, um, as pre and post math uh, inquiry, uh, to see where these girls are going. And the funding for these folks, um, for this program, is via the Butler Foundation, which is how we can offer a girls-only program, because in the city of New York, in a .gov, we have to be inclusive. We're taking them to locations. We're providing them with pathway opportunities. Um, the model is there. We've been following this model. Uh, the um, gap in thought. Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> so on behalf of all these 12-year-olds, because I'm technically only 13 now, at least in brain, um, is that we all have to ask ourselves whether or not we're asking these girls, young people in general, the question of what they want to be. Because I kind of knew when I was 12 as a Hispanic female in a low-income community, and I still kind of know, right? I still kind of know. I have a master's in computer science and a master's in fine arts, and I've carried it full spectrum here with a whole lot of in-between. Um, but what you discover about these young women is they know what they want to know. They are community-driven by nature. They are interested in a number of different things. They are pushing the envelope on what they want and how they want to see it happen. And I'm going to pull a couple quotes here before I run out of time, which I want to get right. Uh, OK, so let's see here. Zaylene, a student at MS244, designed an app connected to inconspicuous wristbands with discrete GPS locator beacons so that young girls in danger can notify trusted adults when they are in the South Bronx. Her idea. Brianna Gonzalez, age 12, cited the light up fashion segment. I really like working on my coding because I want to one day become a computer game designer. And I get to learn how to script by doing this. Alvarez, her favorite project was constructing remote controlled pre-programmed with infrared sensors and hindrance detectors and having them traverse an obstacle course. Technology is fascinating to me, she says, because I like seeing how electrical and mechanical components work together. Sparks is very cool because I get to meet a whole lot of cool friends. Rokiyatsu, age 13. This is Lara, by the way. She's my program coordinator, the connection and the connected voice that provides these girls with stewardship, facilitation, and on-the-ground support at their level. Rokiyatsu, age 13, created a chemistry app with interactive shake your formula components with simulated explosions when the experiment fails. We have 30 girls participating this fall, two locations last year in our pilot, we had 92 girls participating, 30% returned. We have partnerships from all over the city. We're working on trajectories and better methods for providing pathways for these young people. Um, it's a foundational framework for us at the moment, but because of that $150,000, we are able to pilot this in the context of what is my larger project. By the way, we really don't like pink. 
Um, and I'm running about 303,000 programs, uh, three, uh, serving about 303,000 people across the city. About 50% of those folks are young people. We've got other projects at about um, 24 other locations, and um, this is one that we're hoping will continue. That's it. <laughs>